I want to thank everybody for being here. This is truly humbling. Um, it's a night, you know, it's summer night. You got a lot of other things you could be doing. Uh, the fact you're here with us, uh, it, it really means the world to us because the reality is um, we have a good message to get out to people. We can't do it without the resources to get that message across. And so, um, you know, I was raised to know the value of a dollar. Um, I was blessed to marry a great lady that, you know, about uh, 12 years ago, when we were living in a one bedroom apartment outside Fort Stewart. We had uh, about $37 to our name. <laughs> and uh, so we know the value of a dollar. And more importantly, uh, she knew how to stretch that $37 for, for longer than most could. Um, and so we never take it for granted the generosity that you've shown us tonight. Um, thank you most of all, obviously, to my wife, Latanya, my kids. Uh, Lincoln's taking it all in here. <laughs> Salem and Sydney are reenacting some uh, horror movie episodes. <laughs> So the, 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 to do, I, don't, I only know one way to do this job, and that's the right way. Um, that's to be out there, to go to events, to be seen, to be accessible, to be responsive. But that means there's a lot of nights where you go to a lot of meetings. And so, you know, my girls, you know, they say, you know, Daddy, you're getting your work clothes on, which means a suit for me. Um, <laughs> and, and, and I thank you for, for being patient with me. I thank you for supporting me. Um, we've got a three-month sprint here to go, but you know, if we do it the right way, um, we're going to be successful. So thank you, babe, and uh, for all your support. Um, I want to talk just about three main areas where I think we've got a great record to run on. I'm very proud of the work we're doing, and I have no doubt that if we work hard, spread that message, we're going to be successful. Okay? Um, our number one priority as your commission is to wisely manage your mind. And I think, you know, Champ and I did something really novel when we ran for office and we got into office and said, let's actually do what hey, we said Daddy. we were going to do. And so, you know, we were fortunate in this county that as a recession was going on, you know, we didn't have to lay people off. You know, Eula Jean Metzler, Glenn Reeser, and Jay Whipple, you know, they took good care of our money. When we came into office, there was $2.2 million in the bank. Sounds like a lot, and it was good for the time. But in a $15, $16 million budget, you'd like to have more. Uh, we've more than doubled that. We now have $5 million in the bank. That's in addition to having the two biggest years for capital spending. That means reinvesting in the community, the courthouse, the sheriff's office, roads, bridges, dog shelter, board of election. And we're investing in your local government. We are putting that money to use. We are also saving up money for the next, uh, you know, for the next downturn. Uh, for three years, we've been criticized by certain members of the other party that we didn't spend every dollar. Um, you know, some people who voted for Barack Obama twice support the kind of policies that lead to $16 trillion in debt for our country. Um, there are commissioners around this state uh, that subscribe to that point, of, to that view of budget. We got a dollar spent. Those are the counties that laid off 30% of their workforce during the last recession, and we laid off nobody. We didn't lay off anybody. Um, I think that's a big problem. A um, couple things we put your money to use on. Um, Burger Hospital, private room renovation. The county owns half of Burger Hospital. We believe it's important to support it. And uh, we made a substantial contribution to the capital campaign to have private rooms at Burger Hospital. Um, the Sheriff's Office. Uh, the Sheriff's Office has a new parking lot to the tune of several hundred thousand dollars for the first time since 1992. We put a brand new roof on the Sheriff's Office. We've done all new lighting throughout the Sheriff's Office. We have bought 16 vehicles for the sheriff's office over the course of four years. And, um, you know, as we fight the heroin issue, uh, that's been our highest budgetary priority, and I think that is, is warranted. Another thing that Champ and I talked about when we ran was economic development. You know, we wanted to do everything we could to help create jobs in this community. And what that meant for us was we, we have visited virtually every large-scale manufacturing employer in this county. We've gone to factories and said we've never seen a county commissioner before. We've gone to, we've gone to places and we say we want to learn about what you want to do. We want to know what you do. We want to know where we can be helpful. Um, we've, got, we've got companies in this county doing amazing things and uh, we're very proud of being able to support them. Uh, and then we have gone out and helped sell Pickaway County. Um, the commissioner's office has been involved in Slip Dell projects since day one. Uh, a lot of meetings behind the foot, uh, one-on-one with their CEO, with their staff, 
Um, the great thing is that you know we did talk about contracts, we did talk about taxes, we did talk about uh, certain nuts and bolts things in government. But the number one, two, three and thing they wanted to know about was Pickaway County and Circleville as a community. They, they wanted to know about our schools, they wanted to know about our community, they wanted to know about the community that we built, and whether that's the kind of place where they wanted to invest $300 million. It's the work that you all do in the community to make this a great place to live that ultimately sells a company like Sofidel to coming here. And uh, I think everybody deserves a round of applause for <laughs> We're experiencing growth in the Rickenbacker area. In addition to, in addition to the 300 jobs at Sofidel, um, you know, 100 new jobs at Alaris, 50 new jobs at BASF. These are, uh, in four years, we have seen more than 500 new jobs come to Pickaway County, and we are very, very excited about that. Um, you talk sometimes about what difference does it make in government. Well, that's 500 families in Pickaway County that have an opportunity to put food on the table where they didn't before. And that's why I do this job. That's what I'm, I'm excited about. That's why I'm excited every Tuesday to go into work. Um, and, and we are great to see that. In January, when we took office, the unemployment rate in this county was 9.3%. This year is down to 4.3 percent, more than cut it in half. You know, people say they want to see other things in the community, and we agree. But, and, and the number one thing that we can do: you want new restaurants, you want new stores, you want all that. We need economic activity. We need people choosing to live in Circleville when they go to work for Sofidel. We need people choosing to live in Asheville when they go to work at BASF and Asheville Logistics. And we believe that. We are doing the things necessary to sell this county in a positive way, um, working together, P3, Circleville. I mean, everybody's oar is rowing in the same direction. Even if we all don't get along personally 100% of the time, and a lot of times we do, but the reality is we're able to get through that and work together to benefit this community, and that's what I want to keep doing. Um, you go to the courthouse now, there's public Wi-Fi. Um, you know, a little extra technology that, as you're doing, you know, our courthouse is one where you actually still do business. You go to the auditor's office, the reporter's office, you're in court in a case, you have Wi-Fi access, and you can be, you, you can be taking advantage of that. I think anybody doing business today knows that that's important. Um, we have a new website to help sell, sell the county and what we do here. Um, the dog shelter. You know, this is, a, this is an area where um, the commission is open to overseeing the administration of the dog shelter. We've got a great staff that we've hired. We have set a record each of the last two years for the highest number of adoptions Pickaway County has ever had from the dog show. Very proud of that. We have had, you know, through the generosity, another example, generosity of the community. Um, Mary Virginia Christ Handel left a million dollars to this county. We have kept an itemized list of everything that we've spent that money on, which will be, we just recently finished and we'll be putting out here uh, very soon. But that was the courthouse, that was the dog show, that was a new radio tower. We have put the money that we've been entrusted with to good use. Um, because of that shelter and its capacity, uh, we have not had to uh, euthanize a dog due to overcrowding for over two years. Uh, most That's counties great. cannot say that. Cannot say that. Yeah. You know, when you talk about that record, you talk about the success that you know, together we've been able to have. I think at the end of the day, this is going to be a competition, okay? And I think when you start hearing what the competition says, the things they say they want to do, we've already done. Um, they really don't have a whole lot to say. It's really hard to argue with 500 new jobs. It's hard to argue with uh, county finances being in fantastic shape. Hard to argue with our unemployment rate being cut in half. Hard to argue with um, being on such a sound financial footing. But I want you to know what we're doing so that you can go out and hear those things. You can tell people specifically what a county commissioner does and what we've been doing uh, to benefit this county. Local government matters, in my opinion, for the reasons we talked about. Um, you get the wrong people in these positions who have the wrong views about how to manage your money, who have the wrong views about how to support business in this community. Um, these things don't happen by accident. The wrong people can make the wrong decisions. And I do believe that we need strong, fiscally conservative leadership uh, in Pickaway County for the next four years. Um, I'm proud of what we've done. Uh, 
the end of the day, I have voted the way that I felt was right 100% of the time. In this job, you make 12 decisions every single week. Those are yes, no questions. Sometimes the people that hear no, they don't like it. But that's leadership. Um, my head hits the pillow soundly every night uh, because I know in my heart that I am in this for the right reasons. I love this community. I am humbled to have the opportunity to be a part of leading it and to making it a better place. Um, that's why I won another four years as your commissioner. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support. Uh, thank you for the work you do in the community. Um, and with your help, I know we're going to be successful. So thank you very much, everybody, for being here. And let's work very hard and elect all the public.